What's going on? Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here from America's Best Dance Cruise Group, Cabo Modern. How are you guys doing? We're doing good. Now, you guys are performing tonight, correct? Correct. What can we What can we look forward to seeing tonight? You guys always came up with some really dope routines on the show. So, what can we look forward to tonight? Some craziness. It'll be, it'll be awesome. fun. Some Cabo Modern stuff. <laughs> I heard Shane Sparks is supposed to be here, so yeah. So hopefully he'll show up. Um, have you guys done anything since the show? We've done a lot of stuff. We've been doing a lot of random shows to going around the world, teaching, and performing. So. Traveling a lot. Yeah. yeah, it's fun. Yeah. How has the show impacted your your careers as far as dancers? Oh my gosh, it has boosted my my career path in like five steps. <laughs> Yeah. You guys are dope fly as hell. I'm so happy to meet you. Kick ass tonight in there. Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. What's up? I'm here with Gretchen Bonaducci, one of the strongest women on television. I admire you so much. Oh, thank you so you much. Yeah, I would never let a man break me. No way. <laughs> Amen, sister. <laughs> Me either. So you're part of the cast of Give Me My Reality Show. I am, yes, and I'm so excited. We had so much fun shooting the show. I literally laughed all day long. <laughs> I, I, my stomach hurt when I would go home. I just hurt because we just laughed and laughed and had a really good time. Who's the biggest character in that house? You were with Kato Kalen, oh my God, Tracy Bingham, uh, uh, Susan Bobby Olsen. Trendy, Bobby Trendy, uh, Susan Olsen, uh, AJ Benza, who I love, love, love. Uh, but uh, I love uh, Bobby. Bobby Bobby, I would marry him. I would totally marry him. But do you think he'd marry you? No. <laughs> That's okay, though. He's got a hell of a sense of style over there. He does. I'm going to steal his clothes if he ever, like, thinks about it. We'd have fun together. Gretchen's a rock star, okay? Like, she's the lead singer of, like, two bands, aren't you? Two bands, yeah. One is really just a charity band. We play charity events. But my 80s band is playing tonight, and we do, like, the whole Adam Ant makeup and do the Cure, the Cult, Kids in America, Romeo Void. We're really fun, so I'm so excited for this to be over just because I'm so nervous about presenting. Because that's nothing to me. That's a piece of cake. I love performing, so I'll be okay with that. I'm just hoping not to trip and fall on my ass on TV. Or maybe I should because it will break the ice and it'll be funny, but I'm, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. So you are presenting tonight, and it's your first time hosting? Uh, no, my first time presenting. I've never done that before. I hope so. I'm, I'm hoping. I'm going to cross my fingers and hope for the best. Okay, hey everybody, what's up? See, this is people we need to interview, people that actually know who we are. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. These guys are on College Hill right now, one of the hottest shows on BET. This is Willie Mack and Ray Cunningham. What's up, guys? How you hey, doing? How you doing? I'm doing well. I noticed you because your, um, your chest is, is peeking out. I had I the Super V deck. I'm representing for the thick size reality people. You know, everybody's skinny or big buff or big boobs. So I do have the boobs, see? And I'm just okay. All right, so tell me what you know about us. We know definitely that y'all do realitywanted.com that I got a profile on too. And if you have a profile, they give you they text you at three o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning and tell you who's casting. Huh. Is that my your psychic will go up at two o'clock in the morning and say new casting, now casting. That's I do know that. Yeah. <laughs> Is, I'm not gonna ask you if that's how you got the the role on College Hill because no, you're gonna see. Damn. Oh, when it came to my school, I think you are. He I knew Tracy Evans. Oh well, excuse me. But from now on, if we get on another show, hopefully it comes to reality. One hint, 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 hint is right. Okay, so are you guys doing since uh, College Hill? Are you gonna? Is there another season coming back? What's going on with that? Well, right now I just got done doing three movies or whatever, and um, I'm now the spokesperson for Living Advantage Foster Kids. So that's real big, yeah. That's huge. It's always nice to see people that take their celebrity and use it for the good. Hallelujah. Yeah, thank you. We're with Travis from The Greatest American Dog. How are you doing this evening? Excellent. Having a lot of fun. Beautiful dog. Thank you. Oh, this, this is the dog. Yeah, this is the Greatest American Dog. Yeah. The, the only reason I'm here is this dog. Because so. you won. Because we won. We won We won the whole thing. I should, I should say he won the whole thing. I just was his owner holding the leash. Now, what are you guys working on since the show's over? Um, we had the opportunity to work with a lot of uh, um, dog societies, a lot of rescue centers. Um, we did a fundraiser for uh, Best Friends for the season finale viewing of the, of the show. And, you know, in about four hours we were able to raise like $4,000. And, and it was just, it was amazing. You know what I mean? People really came out. And it's, it's amazing when it comes to dogs how people will really show their support. And for us, you know, what a, what a great opportunity to get out there and, and help people realize that great dogs don't have to be perfect.
You know what I mean? And it's nice to see something coming out of reality TV that's positive, something that you can actually use your celebrity for and make it for the good. Yeah, absolutely. And that's something that we're really, you know, looking forward to. And I told somebody, I was like, whether this thing only lasts a week or whether it lasts another six months, if we just take advantage of the time that we have to bring awareness to people that whether you pay $3,000 for a dog or whether you go to a rescue it and rescue one, I mean, they're, they're dogs. They're all going to have problems, but, but they all need love and they all need a home. And that's, that's the biggest problem we have. Awesome. So what are you looking forward to as far as the awards tonight? Um, you know what? We're just happy to be a part of it. I mean, anytime you can bring your animal to the awards yeah. with you, walk a red carpet, ride in a limo, sit with all the other you know, uh, reality stars, it's, uh, it's, it's really going to be an experience for us. And, uh, you know, I don't have to rush home to take care of my dog because he's with me. Yeah. So that's nice. Hi, what's up, everybody? Here with Thing 1 and Thing 2 from uh, Flavor of Love 3. How are you doing, ladies? Oh, we're great. Oh, we're wow. good this evening. We're, we're good excited this to be here. You ladies look really nice tonight. Now, do you always do the matching outfit thing? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. We, 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 de we, def we have to do it. We're twins. We're a trendsetter of the twins, so definitely. <laughs> so what was it like being cooped up in that house with all those ladies on Flavor of Love? Wow. Wow. Oh. Wow. Pastor just wanted to say hi. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it was um, oh, I have drama. drama. Um, kind of like you was in jail a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And more drama. And more drama. Yeah. <laughs> what was it like? I asked Bucky this earlier. Kissing Flavor Flav, and he's got all those gold teeth and all that stuff. Well, how was his breath kind of off? You know what? Um, Flav took his friends out and washed his mouth out, so he was a gentleman about it. Yeah, yeah. So no, we no, couldn't have it no other way. No, no, no stinky breath. No, no. Stinky no. Breath. no shy. No, we didn't have shy in the building, so we was good. <laughs> That's good. You ladies really were a class act on the show, and I applaud you for that. It's nice to see that. And I just want to know, like, are you guys doing anything since the show's ended? Are you planning any spinoffs? Wow. wow. Um, well, we can't really We're not really able to talk about that contract, but we, we, do, we are doing more TV and definitely be looking for, out, for us for um, 09. Yeah, 09. Yeah, you'll see a lot more of us. I know you used to work as a jet uh, mechanic. I used to do honest work, yes. Yes, you did, and now you're a comedian. So if you could offer a piece of advice to people that are out there on a casting website about not giving up or whatever, what would it be? Just that. Don't give up. Keep showing up. Do what you do. Don't try to figure out what they want. Do what you do. Thank you, Alonzo. I'm here with Tracy Bingham from Baywatch, of course, and now a new show called Give Me My Reality Show. Yes. Can you explain the, the premise of the show to people that might not know about it? Okay, Give Me My Reality Show is a show that I'm doing and starring in on Fox Reality Channel. It's a show about uh, seven celebrities who've been on, you know, uh, regular television shows, um, you know, primetime television shows or shows from way back in the day, who are now, you know, testing the waters of reality, who are all vying together to compete um, for all kinds of challenges and eliminations to win their own reality show. So the seven uh, celebrities like fighting for this sh shot, only one's going to win, and the winner gets their own reality show. So what the show is about, what you'd see is, is each celebrity, you know, showing you how to put together their reality show and what you what you would see if they were to win, and then you get to vote, and then there's one winner, and then that winner gets to actually do the show, and you actually get to see that show. Now that's a great concept. We had Gretchen Bonaducci here, yes. and she was just ranting and raving about the cast of the show. So. How did you guys pick the cast, and how was it to be cooped up with them all, you know, during the whole season? Well, it's really fun because, you know, Gretchen Bonaduce is great. I love her. And the funny <laughs> thing about it is I think the network wanted to see us fight and compete, but everyone was so cool with each other because everyone was a fan of each other, so it was hard to compete. But, you know, my little, my technique for reality show is to act like, you know, sweet and innocent, but I'm really, like, sizing you up and knowing what you got and then, like, using that against you and then doing my own thing and then winning it. <laughs> I, hope, right. I don't know how it works, you know? You just hope that you do a good job. I think the key to it all is to believe in your concept and just be who you are because that's the only way to do the right reality. You have to be yourself. Because if you're not yourself, you can read that, and it doesn't work. That's a great piece of advice for everybody on realitywanted.com.